Antrim. They are led by Donnie Miller, who averages 22 point a game. Rayquad Evans, second leading scorer, top rebounder. And their third leading scorer is Ricardo Travis. So it's a three-man show for the Eagles. For Eastern Kentucky, they've had balance. And you can say, yes, that's good, or maybe it's not, because seven different players have been the top scorer. Five players have been the top rebounder. Their stay with Jansen, William Cooper, Rob Braxton, Beverly, Devontae Blanton, and Michael Moreno. Doug Sally alongside Doug for Eastern Kentucky. Get well time for Midway. Have a good exhibition game here and do your best. You're outmanned. Eastern's a heavy, heavy uh, favorite tonight. And one thing that the Colonels will have to do is just make sure they stay within the team concept. Make sure they don't get any kind of bad habits and just play Eastern basketball. And uh, they should be able to take care of business tonight. So Midway, six and four. They'll count this as an exhibition. EKU on their longest losing streak since the 2019-20 season when they lost eight in a row, equal tip and into the hands of Travis, then he could not maintain balance and it'll go out of bounds to Easter Kentucky. In the home white tonight with maroon trim, stripes and whistles tonight, Michael Terry, Damon Williams and Jesse Joseph as we're underway in Richmond. Here's Beverly, high left Blanton. Back of the hash to Beverly, fake the alley-oop. Head of the key drive to the elbow. Moreno for a good look on the drive, pitch, and give. And Moreno, a day beyond his 21st birthday, trying to shake loose of a slump. He only scored three a ball game the last two games. So he's equal that in the first few seconds of this one. Yeah, he did a good job replacing the, the uh, pick and roll action there, wide open three. Talk about that in a little bit here. Here's Tate, Rico Tate. One-handed bounce up to Miller at the head of the key. Their leading score out of Newport, Kentucky, up in the Cincinnati area. Now Tate drives on Moreno behind the bat. Finds a teammate out of the corner to tie it. Shot no good for Evans, who takes 13 and a half shots a game. Williams a rebound. Williams a little gimpy coming up court here. He's fought knee and ankle injuries this year. Rob, right wing Beverly, want to post Williams low. He's got it. Defense by Sims, turning eight-footer by Williams, sacked five-nothing EKU as they go for what could be their fourth wire-to-wire -wire win of the year. Here's one tipped away by Rob, onto the court, Blanton's got it to Beverly. Corner right, Rob, step back three for an 8-0 lead, yes. Well, I like that decision by Cooper Rob there. Could have shot a contested three, waiting for a better opportunity. Quickly down court comes Evans. Rob gets help from Blanton, skip pass high right. Now back top left to Tate into the lane. No good at Eastern Kentucky. Off to a 3-for-3 three three start. Midway 0-for-2. Williams a 3 for an 11-0 lead. Yes, and where was this shooting the other night when in one section of the game they went 1-17 of 17 in the loss to Marshall? Hard to figure that out sometimes. Well, you'll take it if you're EKU an 11-0 lead. And a good wraparound by Sims miss. They're 0-for-3. EKU opens 4-for-4. 3-for-3 four three three on threes. And another big spurt, more about spurts here in a second. Blanton back to Williams, wing right three, good extra share. First miss of the night belongs to Jansen Williams. And now the Eagles are running, good Euro through the lane, get it off to the layup man. And Evans in the break off the curdle miss. And that stops the 11-0 run. And Easter Kentucky in transition to Williams in the basket. Good find by Moreno. Williams did a good job running the floor, went right straight to the rim, and Michael Moreno found him for easy layup. And a timeout, or is it just no stepping on the sidelines against the intense EKU pressure at half court? A.W. Hamilton, as you see, a player from his same high school, Scott County, bring it in, and Moreno. Hamilton in year four. Has a record well above 500 here at 56 and 48. Nearing 300 wins. All time as Blanton dribbling through the lane, lost it, stolen. Here comes Miller, got around a defender, Rob, missed the layup, Rob rebound. Rob three minutes in with his team up 13-2, picks up the dribble. Baseline right, Blanton turns open from 10, short arms it. Moreno tips the rebound to himself, goes low to Williams, got too far underneath, missed it, got his own rebound off Blanton's deflection, lost it again to Moreno, extra share Beverly, load, fire, bullseye, Beverly. Great ball movement by EKU so far early in this game. 
16-2 run to begin the ball game. EKU 23% shooting the last two games against Marshall and USC when they needed it most. Tonight, they wouldn't need a good shooting night, but they've had it early as they have opened six of nine and four of six from deep. This is Miller. Miller drives around Blanton, squares, misses from 10. Rebound by Blanton. Eyes up, headband on. Little give to Williams contact and a whistle foul called on Isaiah Sims. That's a well-known name in the state of Kentucky when it comes to hoops, Sims. Yeah, it sure is. His father, Alvis, Alvin, was a uh, great player at Paris High School. Went on and played under Denny Crum at the University of Louisville. I wouldn't be surprised if he's in the crowd somewhere tonight. Timeout on the court, 16-12. Eastern Kentucky early, less than four minutes in. On your Doug Sally back in Richmond, Kentucky, where Eastern Kentucky on four of five three-point shooting, six of nine overall, is bolted out to a 16-2 lead. Jansen Williams with two tosses here, and if this first one goes... That's a 15 plus 15 point spurt at 17 to 2, and it's the seventh time this year Eastern Kentucky has done that. They opened with an 11 0 start, and it's the ninth time they have scored double figures without an opponent scoring a point. He got them both, and it's 18 2 Eastern Kentucky. Eastern in their man to man press, which is their uh, MO. And Jamaro Brown is coming off a 23 point game in. Miller dropped it as they got it across the court in front of the Eastern bench. Got it off to his teammate Travis. His three no good. And Brown shoved off for the rebound. Got caught right in front of the official with his hand in the defensive rebounding cookie jar. So on Jamaru Brown, his first. Brown had been in a slump of late, in front of the Eastern getting bench. Starts, got it off to his teammate tonight. Travis. His three no good. And Brown game, shoved off the for the rebound. His engine on the got inbounds. They got loose. Three curdles challenged it. Brown got the rebound. Williams and Rob helped him defensively. Defense has been good here against the smaller Eagles early. 18-2, Eastern Kentucky. Good low post pass to Williams off the wing by Moreno. Well, they ran some roll action on the weak side, and Williams cut right to the basket. Great cut by Williams and a great find by Moreno. Nine already by Williams. Last three games, he had been 6 of 18 from three good wraparound run to the basket it dances on the rim twice and falls for memphis junior rico tate 20 to four now make it 23 to four as brown hits a wing three i think we're gonna have a lot of points tonight doug what do you think it looks that way i wouldn't be surprised if they don't break the century mark Eastern Kentucky, five of six. They've broken the century mark eight times at A.W. Hamilton. Rico Tate. Four years as the head coach. 20 to four, four now. Make it Baseline. 20. Run at a bad pass, leaving his feet. Travis stolen Beverly. Brown, back up three ball. Missed it. Rebound Moreno. One dribble. Pump fake. Got it out right wing. Beverly. Collect. Shoot. Boom. Beverly. And inside out, fine right there. Open threes are usually there when you get an offensive rebound and kick out. 26 to 4 as EKU has put Joe Kropinski's team in a world of hurt here. Good drive to the goal and a charge. It was a nice charge there. Drive to the goal by Travis, but he didn't have any breaks, Doug. Yeah, Williams did a good job. He read that play early, got set up, and didn't even try to go for the block shot. He was in position. He knew he had the charge right there. It is. Michael Moreno leaves the court. In for him will be um, Eastern Kentucky's Richard Crookshank. Now, Kurt Lewis has come in as well. Fake. Got it Beverly. out right wing. So Beverly collects. Crookshank shoot. in for Boom. Beverly. And Lewis in for Moreno right to get there. the positions oh. right. 26-4. Eastern it's Kentucky out to an 11-0 lead. Led by as many as 22 right now. Here's Lewis, the three, right into the ball game, and he missed. Long kicking rebound, pulled down by Sims. Isaiah Sims got around Williams and then stripped away. Good defense play there. Going to call it a jump ball. If I said Sims, I meant Miller there. They have brought in Corey Gardner from Owensboro. Former Red Devil Rebound, Owensboro pulled down High by School. Sims. Here's Isaiah the Sims got around Williams and then stripped basket. away. Around Good Williams. defense Root play there. there to help Going to call it a jump ball. On the way up. I don't think they called they a foul. Call called it, a no, they called a jump ball signal. Okay. Looked like all ball to me. Yo-yoing the dribble. Evans finding one from 16. Peach basket. Nice job there. Go over the defense. Deep right corner. Rob fakes the three. 26-6. 
Eastern Kentucky, bad pass, stole it. Here comes Evans. Evans up to the new player in Gardner. Shot no good. Balligan's come in for EKU and failed to get the rebound right at his feet. So EKU waiting to bring Blanton back in. Four guys have come off the bench here. 26-6, Eastern Kentucky. Good look at a three by Miller. Good. In a world of hurt here. Of good. Drive to the goal. To the Eagles as Miller gets their first three. Five in a row by Midway. 26-9. EKU. Biggest lead. 22. Crookshank. Over to Lewis. Drives in. Uses the shoulder. Puts it up. No. Draws the foul. See which player they're going to call it on. It's going to be an Isaiah Sims out of East Moline, Illinois. You talked about his dad. So we went to break being Alvin Sims who played at Louisville from 93 to 97 as we see the Lewis drive and the foul as Sims tried to help Gardner into the lane there. Well, Kurt Lewis so much more physical than the uh, midway player there, just able to turn his shoulders around the defense and get in there and get his shot off. Lewis didn't score last game at Marshall in the game here against Marshall. Snapped a 35-game streak of scoring points. But he's in the scorebook here as Sims leaves. You see Isaiah Sims, and you know he's the son of Alvin, don't you? Oh, yeah. Just look right at him. <laughs> it looks just like him. Here's one more for Kurt Lewis. He played at the same high school as the man wearing zero and blue, Raekwon Evans of Midway. Lewis got them both. His first two of the night, 28-9, Eastern Kentucky. Biggest lead has been at 22. They got out to an 11-0 lead. And that big run of 26-4. And EKU got in the middle of the position, and they called a foul there. Yeah, you got to allow the offensive player his vertical space. And when he pivoted, the Eastern player went right into him there. That 26-4 run plus 20, the fifth time. EKU's been on a scoring run that gave them a net of 20 points or more advantage. Good pass deflection just left of us by Kurt Lewis deflecting the pass out of bounds. Well, they ran a little flare screen there. Balligan and Kurt Lewis did a good job communicating. Lewis able to get his hand on that. Four of ten guys on the court have white headbands on right now. Three Kirtles. One midway guy. We give you everything, Doug. Here's a 15-footer. Shot no good by Rico Tate. Rebound Blanton. Out to Brown, got collected at half court on a body bump by Donnie Miller from Newport, Kentucky. 28-9 EKU down to 12-42 in the first half. EKU ran out on a 5 of 6 beginning to this ballgame. They've hit one of their last three. They're at 6 of 9 now from three. Lewis triggering the inbounds right here. He had something up his sleeve, didn't want Blanton to throw it in. He's... He's the man right there. Into Balligan from Crookshank. Hand back to Blanton. Alley oop down low to Balligan. Lost it, but he got it back. And nobody there in the 27th career dunk for Tariq Balligan. Born in Italy. Grew up in London, England. 30 to 9. EKU by 21. The rush hour traffic. Right wing to Miller. And tries to go for a second. 3 0. No. Jamario Brown rebound. Scooting down court. Tipped away. Somehow got it back. Flip it left corner, Crookshank way long. Didn't even hit the rim and leaking out in front is Tate for the layup that goes in despite Brown's attempt to block it four by Tate. Well, you had your point guard shooting out of the corner right there, and sometimes you lose floor balance. No one back for Eastern right there. 30 to 9 beginning. It's 30. And here's a three straight away. No good. Lewis, good hustle to the rebound and back to the goal, and he missed the chippy. Throw over the defense. Is it too far? Yes. Falling down is Ridge Hall from New Pekin, Indiana, who had come into the game. We have a timeout at the 11:40 mark. And EKU rolling against Midway out of the NAIA, 30 to 11 on ESPN. An old coach, nine assists on 10 made shots. Oh yeah, I love it. I love it. 10 of 18, six of 10 from three. Began five of six, four of four from the line, plus seven rebounding. They got clubbed in rebounding by 18 and a half on average the last two games. Of course, it was Marshall who plays a big one at Ohio tonight. Then USC number 10 in the country. Brown hunting a shot. 17-footer no good. Swapped to try to get a foul. Didn't get it. Lewis the rebound. Now Crookshank penetrates. Rises with a right hand no, but a follow tip by Brown, and it won't go. 
He goes down, so it's five on four. Coming the other way, Evans. Evans gives it off to Miller. Miller, good. Fall away, 13-footer. Wouldn't go. Lewis the rebound. Lewis has been challenged to rebound better, and he has tonight. Rush hour traffic doesn't bother him, but he missed the one at the goal. That's two by Lewis. Lewis usually so good at finishing, and this year he has just not been able to finish shot after shot right at the rim. Yeah, you just keep waiting for him to break out with a game that uh, is more reminiscent of what he did last year, and uh, he's right on the cusp of it, I have a feeling. 32-11 EKU on the inbounds. Brown has to run it down. A little body bump there by Corey Gardner. Eastern Kentucky has four assists already by Moreno. He's on the bench. Brown of three. Shot no good. So after we talk about 10 assists on 11 shots made, or maybe it was 9 out of 10, EKU kind of going uh, hunting for shots there in the last couple of possessions. Yeah, nice steal by Brown. He's coming off a career equaling six on a pretty bounce to Blanton. Just as we say, they're not sharing. They share the leather. Three good passes there, and the Colonels get the second Balligan dunk of the night. Well, I love that find by Blanton. Off a steal by Brown and a bad pass. Brown got in the lane and Crookshank the steal. Changing and dribble for the left-hander. Baseline to Blanton. Nice find by Lewis on the left wing. No good. Balligan volleyballs the ball to the court. Run down by Blanton. EKU's gone a little cold from deep. And we got a whistle away from the ball and a hold down low on Evans trying to keep Balligan from low post position with 10 and a tick left in the first half. 32 and 11 Eastern Kentucky, but just 6 of 12 from 3. After a 5 of 6 start, they're one of their last 6. Balligan, Brown, Lewis, Crookshank in. Moreno, Rob, Williams, Beverly starters return. EKU still playing. Medical DQ tonight on the bench with the team, but not yet in action. Still waiting for Iron Bennett, the Marshall transfer. 6-10-3-22. Wheel a pass out right wing to Williams. Collect and miss a three. One of their last seven. So a hot start and a cold since then effort by the EKU shooters. One of seven. Circling the wagons to the head of the key. Travis trying to pass it inside. The ball deflected by a curdle. Right now on the court. Miller, their leading scorer in the year with just three. Evans stays on the court. So does another starter, Travis and Sims. New player in is Nick Keaton from Paintsville, Kentucky. Pass deflected, but it got through traffic to Miller. Left flat. Rob goes down. No harm, no foul. They just bounce up top to Gardner. Gardner wheeling a tough 15-footer. Front rim, no. Fifth rebound of the night. Or make it the uh, second rebound of the night from Moreno. He has four assists. Now Rob. 32-11, backdoor cut. Blanton into the lane, knifing from 13. No, collects his own miss by Moreno right wing, who opened the game with a three. He missed, and EKU now one of their last eight after beginning five of six from deep. Stay 32-11. to 11. Foul line Evans, and inside it misses. They are now five of 18 tonight. EKU 11-28. Below 40%. Williams will try to lift the lid. He's way off to the right. Slaps his hands together. Running count on these misses here. EKU went one of 17 in a spell there after a two of three start against Marshall. Part of the reason they got beat. So both teams stuck on their numbers. 32-11 EKU. To the foul line, nothing there. Miller finds a teammate in Keaton. Got another teammate in the lane. Evans turns from 10, no good. They are now five of 19 from the field. Moreno passes up with left wing three to Rob in the corner. Down low to Blanton using the shoulder. Turning missing, but he drew the foul on Travis and will go to the line with 8.15 to go in the first half. It's been dominated from the start by Eastern Kentucky. Well, Blanton knew he had a size advantage right there. Kind of took his time, got into the paint, got a little body bump to ward the defense off and then went to the rim, got fouled. It's one thing that if Eastern Kentucky can get more consistent from three is you have a good look at Tate Tay Blanton. His older brother, Delvin Rowe, was a five-star coming out of the same high school, St. Edward up in the Cleveland area. 
And then Delvin Rowe had those bad knees, had a big knee surgery. He's now an actor out on the West Coast, but he was on that Michigan State team that is a national runner-up to North Carolina 2009. Blanton misses the first foul shot of Kirtle is missed tonight. One more for Tay-Tay. And this one good for Blanton, his first point of the night. 33-11, EKU equals its biggest lead at 22. Both teams cold shooting of late. Full court pressure with two to get it across, and they do with a half second to spare. Right wing, three, good by Miller. He's hit a pair. Good looking stroke by him. 33-14, EKU. Beverly to Blanton. Blanton curls around the foul circle. Pocket pick by Miller. Coming the other way, Beverly gets back, and he fouls. And it'll be an and one for Miller. He pickpocketed Blanton. And the second 5-0 run by Midway, and it has been fueled both times by Miller. Miller completes the and one for a 6-0 run. It was 33-11, it's 33-17 now. Moreno, Beverly, and here's Moreno's pass deflected away. Another turnover. Bit a bad stretch for Eastern Kentucky. Charge there. Oh, they called a blocking foul on Rob. He was backing up. I thought it was going to go the other way because Evans used the, the elbow to knock off and Play another over turnover. And another Bit a bad stretch for Eastern Kentucky. Now Charge there. Oh, they called a blocking foul be a shot on Rob. They're going to say no shot. <laughs> Foul on the floor, but I'm like you. I thought Rob was in defensive guarding position when the contact occurred. I'm going to get a look at that here. It'll be midway on a 6-0 run here. Get it down within 16, and Moore's got the hot hand. Shoots over Rob, but couldn't get that one to go. Told you he takes a lot of shots. 17 a ball game, and he's put him up tonight. Miller, I should say, not Moore. He's 3 of 8 from the field. Miller, good screen by Williams. Beverly penetrates. Find Moreno back to Beverly. Beginning to share the ball again after a Spell where they didn't here. Brown crossover dribble going to the elbow. Sliding stop back to Beverly. Catch, shoot, hit. Off the assist. She started assisting, and the buck could start falling again. They had been one of their last nine from three. Here's a steal by Moreno. Two on two. Moreno to the cup, and with the left hand, lays it in. And a quick 5-0 run for Eastern Kentucky. Beverly's hit three threes tonight, and a near steal by Beverly. <laughs> They throw over the defense to Fort Court to Miller. Another three splashed by Miller, and he already is at 11 points. You can see why he scored 30 in a game twice. Yeah, from He's got a nice looking stroke. And very offensive minded. 38 20 EKU Williams. Williams one hands it to Brown. Brown slides to the top half of the foul circle. Give and go to Williams. Reverses as he was a little out of kilter, missed it, but they saved it in. And Brown drops the three in his second of the night. Should have had an assist on that play. Williams didn't finish the layup, but he ended up getting rewarded anyway. Wide open three. Pair of threes tonight by Brown. Three by Beverly. Left corner. Set the toes behind the line. Evans hits it. Ray Quan Evans has five. Same high school as Kurt Lewis is currently sitting on the EKU bench. Now moving up. The center court to check in. Looks like Van Hook may as well, if I'm reading the number right, for Midway. 41-23 EKU. Beverly leaning in from 12. No. Moreno the rebound. Moreno surveying. Off to Beverly. Already five assists, four rebounds for Moreno. Four rebounds, Rob. Three each, Brown and Lewis. Brown from 25. Welcome to the NBA. Shot no good. Rebound glances off Williams. Here come the Eagles running. Brown challenges. Doesn't matter as 11 and Blue scores. And we're getting a flop warning the other way. And so the basket by Rico Tate. Tate has six. Miller has 11. And Evans has five. One player that's in that triumvirate of scoring double figures. Ricardo Travis has not scored tonight. Lewis just in for Moreno just in. And the coach, Joe Kropinski, has taken Travis out of the game. 41-25 EKU, Williams, another look at a three, and it's good from straight away, and that's a dozen for Williams. 45th career double-figure game of his career, 137 games. Graduate student at Eastern after playing at Marshall for four years, plus a red shirt. Underneath five minutes, first half. 44-25, home team, shot no, foul, block inside the restricted area. 
on Beverly. A little bit late rotating right there. Williams came out on a closeout, got beat off the Staff. dribble. 44-25, home team, shot no, foul, blocked bit, inside the restricted uh, area the on Beverly. Court. That was one that maybe a little bit late ignored, rotating they right didn't. There. So to the line for two tosses will be Raekwon Evans, played at Valley High School, River State Conference, preseason all-conference. This is a team that in this 14-team NAIA league used to be known as Kentucky Intercollegiate Conference, but it now has teams from a bunch of states in it. Kentucky, West Virginia, Indiana, Ohio, and Pennsylvania, five different states. Well, they made a good account of themselves there since the early numbers were run. So what we were saying, uh, they have two players on the 10-team all-conference preseason team. Not bad for a conference with 14 teams. Brown lost the dribble. That handle of Brown lets him down at times. It did their time. Good job getting back defensively. Challenging shot in the break off his turnover, and he was able to interrupt it. The shot no good. Here comes Lewis the other way, and he dropped the dribble out of bounds. Tell you the thing, probably if you're a huge Eastern Kentucky fan that may drive you the most crazy this year is shots missed near the rim and just drop dribbles into turnovers. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Kurt just got his uh, mind ahead of his, of his uh, actions there. Lewis makes a steal. Got it out to Beverly, and he'll drop in a three. Good hustle there by Lewis to turn the other team over. And Beverly with a good shooting night. He's hit four as Braxton Beverly is a perfect four for four tonight. Braxton Beverly got his hand on that, too. He's really showing some speed. From three-point distance, they began five of six, then hit one of their next nine. Now they've hit four in a row. And it seems like when they share the ball to threes and they get clean looks, better than hunting for a three on your own dribble, Doug, is what I've seen. So Yeah, I, I completely agree. And they've done a good job moving the ball uh, out of their uh, patterned offense and, and in transition. Sometimes Force. they just break, broke off their uh, patterns, though. Force nine turnovers. This drive shot no good by Evans. Rebound by Lewis. And the other way, Blanton or Brown couldn't complete. And it'll be out of bounds to Eastern Kentucky. Good hustle there. And Lewis has done a good job on the boards tonight. Moreno leads with five. Beverly, no, let's go back to Blanton has five. Moreno has five. Rob has five. And Lewis has four. It's Moreno with five assists, Beverly and Blanton with three. Crookshanks come back in, in to Rob, and he'll hit a corner three. So Eastern Kentucky now 11 of 21 on threes and lead at 50-27. And that was not an easy shot. Kind of falling away a little bit out of that corner. He likes that fall away three. The other way, guy that can shoot him, Miller, but this right wing three no good. Rob the rebound, 50-27 EKU, biggest lead. Lewis to add to it, and he does. 12 of 22 from three. EKU's record is 20 against Tennessee Martin back in 2019, a school record. Inside, trapped as Keaton trying to find an opening, couldn't roll it out to Tate. Now Evans and Brown went for the steal and knocked him down. Second foul on Brown tonight. Brown. Six fouls on Midway, six on EKU, Doug. Brown really aggressive defensively. He looks for any opportunity to get his hands in there and be active. And he's got a little piece of Evans right there on that play. First time in, Alex Hofer, former Seymour, Indiana player. Seymour Owls. Know who's from Seymour, Indiana? Think music. John Cougar Mellon. I was just getting ready to say that. I swear I was. <laughs> this isn't Andy Griffith trivia. You didn't have that one. Uh, I'd have been a little bit better off if I'd heard an Andy question. 53-27 EKU by a game high 26. Bolted out to an 11 nothing lead and then 26-4. Down on the baseline working nothing there. Rob saw that pass but couldn't get there and they found their open shooter at Evans on the elbow left good and Evans now up to 9. Evans 9, Miller 11. We told you they're their top scorers at 18 and 22 a game so 40 of their team's 80 plus. Nice over the ear pass by Crookshank out to Blanton and he missed, and the defensive rebound comes down to Tate. Tate comes up the near side to the trailer. This is Van Hook who checked in a bit ago. Will Van Hook, West Palm Beach, Florida. A little shove off there, getting away with it, Evans, and he got a pass to him right in front of the official, and he just shoved the colonel 
and then found the opening and put it in. Unguarded Lewis wing three way off. Rebound pulled down Van Hook. After Evans upped his total to double figures. Here is Tate. Tate left side to Evans. He'll try it again and hit it again. Got some shooters, don't they? They sure do. He gave a little jab step right there to Balligan. Balligan kind of backed off just enough to give him space to get that off. 7-0 run. They've had many runs of 5, 6, and 7 tonight. Crookshank, minute 30 in the first half. Low to Balligan, and he's dunked for the third time in a Crookshank dime, and he'll have a penny at the foul line. After that, as Blanton has scored, make a ballot, going to score six. They've all come on dunks here, Doug. Yeah, what I really like about Crookshank there, after he beat his man, he pulled into the paint and played off of two feet, didn't risk a charge, made a nice little bounce pass to Balligan inside for the dunk. Five of 15 starts since then. I think they were five of 18 at one time, and they're eight of their last 13, and Balligan misses the foul shot. Balligan became a good foul shooter last year for the line, but this year 12 of 23 nearing the 50% line. 55-34 Eastern Kentucky nearing the end of the first half with a minute 15 to go. Hand in the face, 12-footer good by Raquan Evans. 16 for Evans. He's been over 24 times this year, and he's headed that way again tonight. Here's Balligan, top of the foul circle from 17, no good. Blanton skies for the rebound, but it was tipped out of bounds by him as he left his feet a little early and couldn't control the ball. So yeah. Eastern Kentucky jumped out to the 22-point lead early, but it's only 19 now. Played even since then, Doug. Yeah, they've done a good job. Really got uh, their momentum going. Maybe a little confidence has been built now. Well, Evans and Miller have been high-volume scores. Tate's added six, just three players have scored and in transition this time a turnover. They've been turned over now 10 times and a points off turnovers. As Eastern Kentucky looks to add to that, they have a 13 to six lead, 43 seconds first half. Here comes Crookshank. First time in tonight, Deshaun Jackson, the freshman from Lexington. On a bounce to him. Jackson back over to Blanton. Blanton driving in line, getting loose. Nothing there to Lewis. Eight to shoot. Lewis penetrates. Fall away 15-footer. Air balls it. Saved in Crookshank. Back to Blanton. And at the buzzer was the, they're going to say shot clock violation. I think the shot was blocked as well. So good defensive effort there by the Eagles of Midway. With 16.8 to go in the first half, down 19. Yeah, I really thought Blanton had a better shot there when he got the uh, first opportunity on the basket. Ended up throwing it outside. Since that 26-4 run, Midway has won the game by three points. Looking to add to it. Dribbling down to six seconds. Hunting for a shot. Baseline to go to Tate at the buzzer. Got it! Another one by Tate. So Tate has eight. Miller has 11. Evans has 16. And it's a tonight. Also giving Wardy a start here the second half, too. He didn't play in the first half. So Michael Wardy, who played at Peru State and then went to a junior college, Southeast Community College, out of Lincoln, Nebraska, Norris High School. Crookshank starting as well. So you've got two players on the court who didn't start the ball game in Crookshank and Wardy, Blanton, Rob, and Moreno did start. And here we go. Four seconds now taken off the clock. And away we go to the second half. 55-38 Eastern Kentucky. Biggest lead was at 22. Crookshank, good defense there by Miller, head of the key. Crookshank hooks it over his ear to Rob. Steps it to the left for a three. And goodbye, Rob. Second time he's got a three-pointer off after a shot fake. Got his feet set. Really good job of uh, squaring up right there. He has only hit two shots tonight. He's only taken two. Wardy off the miss. Defensive rebound through Crookshank to Blanton. Knifes through two. Tough shot. And without a bank, he looped it up and in. Blanton, his first field goal, third point. <laughs> Eastern Kentucky ups the lead to 60 to 38. And stole it there and put it in. Eastern really denying the ball inbounds to get in this press. 62-38. We haven't really experienced any buffering. Seeing it load up that quick, I was genuinely surprised. With the run.
run here. It'll be Moreno, Blanton, Rob, Crookshank, and Wardy. The way they started the second half. The trigger will be Tate. They've got a trap on Travis who hadn't scored, but he got it back to Tate. And they run it up for court to Miller. Get pass over to the player who has not scored and still has it. Travis. And a rebound pulled down by Moreno. His sixth of the night to equal Rob. And Moreno another deep three in this one. No good. Blanton off the Out to Crookshank. The lefty will try it and strip the cord. Crookshank gets into the scorebook. Another example. Offensive rebound. Kick out. Stepped right into a three. Biggest run of the night, 13-0. They've had a pair of double-figure runs here. Here's a follow-away shot from 17. Won't go for Raekwon Evans. So two tough starts to each half have doomed the Eagles tonight. They trail by 30 now as Crookshank flips it over his ear to Wardy, who dunks more than he shoots. As Wardy has now dunked on 11 of his 19 makes this year. He is now going to have three dunks in the first half. And Crookshank tips the ball out of bounds. It rolled, he thought, off the leg of Travis. But the official said no. 15-0 Eastern Kentucky lead. In the half. Just underway. We've played just two minutes and four seconds. Well, if you haven't seen Eastern play this year, they're not trying to run up a score or anything like that. This is the way they play 40 minutes. They get after you full court. And a 10-second violation to begin the second half here. Our stat monitor has gone on the fritz, and so can't update the numbers here in the second half. But suffice it to say, Doug, how well is Eastern Kentucky shot in the second half? Second half right now, they are 6 for 7, 85.7%. Three out of four from the three-point line. Into Moreno, hand back to Crookshank. So an interesting this one, no good. In the second half. Resting rebound. Williams out that Crookshank. The left team will keep coming in here on Saturday. Northern on rest. Blanton turning around, shot off the rim twice, no good. And then a player got knocked down, Tate, and it's going to be called on Eastern Kentucky. And they're going to call it on Blanton after he missed the shot, coming back and pushing his first foul. You know, I love that foul, though, because Blanton – really attacked the glass when that ball was up on the rim and you know he just got a little bit too aggressive made some contact but you can live with that Eastern open six of the first seven they only miss Moreno then that Blanton miss leaving his feet but getting a pass off and then Wardy stole it that pass Travis intended Tate Wardy to Blanton Blanton will shoot looked like his foot was on the line but they say no we're going to look at that yeah. again. And I think oh. it's going to be a two. That again. Put it on the board is three. That will be 18 in a row. It stands for Blanton. I looked at it live, and I don't think it was a three. Here comes pass off, and then Wardy stole it. Follow that pass. Travis intended to take going. Wardy to Blanton. Blanton will shoot. Number two. Looks like his, they are 0 for 4, are the Eagles. Blanton will try a three. He was behind the line this time and barely grazed the rim. Good hustle, Wardy. Second game in a row, Doug Sally has made a catch. Good hands there, Doug. Yeah, it's, I still got it. <laughs> the only place you got it's from the foul line. <laughs> yeah, you're you could, right. You you're right I couldn't on that. get up and I, down the court for a couple of minutes. I can catch the ball and shoot free throw. That's about it. Right now it's 73-38, and here's a foul by Moreno. That will allow the officials to go to the monitor here. If they do, they have it yet. So right now it is a... 18-0 start to the second half for Eastern Kentucky. The biggest spurt unanswered. This matches it because they scored 18 against Ohio Valley back in November. Ohio Valley University, same conference. Brown a good tip away. And then, then the ball went out of bounds. Last touch by Brown. It's 11 in white. Collided with 11 in blue and Tate. And it certainly looked to Brown as though it went off Tate. I thought Brown made a good steal and just got undercut after after he uh, was trying to make the attempt on the ball. 73-38 Eastern Kentucky. 29-0 advantage when you start each half. Here's the fall away in the first bucket of the night for Ricardo Travis to stop the Eastern Kentucky run that mounted up to the 16-35 mark of 18-0. And it's 73-41 now. After Easter Kentucky went up by 35, Brown comes in, flips it as he drew the harm down the right side of the lane over his ear. No good, but he'll go to the line for two. Well, he turned the corner right there after the handback and went into the lane, made a nice dribble move to the right side, and 
He's got the body contact, able to get it up on the rim so he can go to the line for the two. Eastern Kentucky got up 10 shots, hit seven to begin this half. And before that make there by Travis, a three, there had been four misses and a bunch of turnovers in half number two for Midway. They made 14 on the game, EKU eight. Brown has been a tremendous foul shooter as he hits them both. He's up to eight on the day as Brown has been spot on from the foul line this year. Now double figures in makes it a row. School record 29 in a row. Nice pass. Sims had his shot blocked by Wardy with help by Rob. Sims didn't start the second half. Beautiful pass by Miller to him, but the defense strong, and Wardy giving EKU good minutes here as you watch it. Now Cooper Rob rotated down the lane there and made a nice cap of that shot. It was actually Rob with the block, his fifth of the year, and the inbounds, getting loose of Curtles and putting it in, is Raquan Evans, and he's to 20 points tonight for the fifth time on the year. 20 for Raquan Evans out of Valley in Louisville. 75-43 EKU, baseline 10-footer, no good for Blanton. Down the right side, Travis, up top they go to Tate, his three good. This team, when they get good looks, can shoot, can't they? Yeah, they sure can. Blaine a little bit late on that contest right there. Didn't come out strong. 35-point lead. It's been trimmed down to 29. Crookshank gets it back. Step back three, Crookshank. Good. Pair of threes this half for EKU. They're zooming towards what could be a school record. They're 17 of 31 from three. That ball goes off the foot. Well, the officials have come over, Doug, and said it was close, but it was a three by Blanton off the left wing, so they are now 17 of 31. That's at 66.7% in the first half, 71.4 in the second half of play. Well, that's 66.7 is what they've shot from the field, 71.4 from three, and it's 54.8 for the game from three. But really hot here in the second half. Midway gone zone right here. Looks like a little 1-2-2. Two, two. Brown who's come in. Lewis, ball tipped away. Lewis not crisp with that pass. Good hands there in the passing lane. And Eastern Kentucky turns it over for the ninth time. They force 15. Here's a good look at a three off the wing right. No good by Travis. Got his first points earlier when they broke that scoring drought with EKU opened with an 18-0 run to build the lead from 17-35 to 35 to start the second half. Rob penetrates down the paint to a sliding stop in trouble, and he gets tied up as he fouled. Yes, got it tackled there on National Football Signing Day. Good tackle by Evans. Eastern Kentucky by the Rob way. Rob penetrates down in. the paint to a sliding Sliding's stop today, in trouble, and he Australian gets tied up punter. as he fouled. Yes, got it tackled there the on EKU National Football Jordan Signing Barry. Day. Uh, the first of the Aussies. He's now punting for Minnesota after six years with Pittsburgh. Here's Lewis to the baseline. Wanted to give it off to Brown. Now does. Brown slides a dribble to the foul line. Oh, good change of pace and then missed the layup. But Wardy the rebound back up. He missed it inside. Kicks out near Lewis, but into the hands of Miller. And here come the Eagles. Miller crossover into the body of Rob. And a reach on Rob on the drive. Speeding down court by Donnie Miller. Miller's really aggressive when he gets the ball in the open court. And here he is. Taking that ball right to Rob, and Cooper Rob just didn't get his feet set enough, I guess, for the official to uh, call the charge. Second foul on Rob. Three on the Curdles, two on the Eagles here in this half as we near the 14-minute mark. And Miller, who had 12 at halftime, adds to his total. He has a Baker's dozen now. He averaged 19 in his high school senior year. At a Newport High School up in the Cincinnati area. Hit them both. This is a team with two graduate students on it in Travis and Evans. 78-48. Lead went to 35. It's down to 30 now. Brown left wing. School record for made threes is 20. They sit at 17 right now. Most threes taken. 45 in a game was set this year. Lewis knives to the goal and then misses the inside shot. Balligan for a moment had a hand on the rebound, but Miller rips it away from him. Again, Lewis just struggling to finish at the rim here. Trying to do it on the defensive end. Sims, left wing Travis. 
Travis, step back, left wing three, air ball. Dottigan knows that, just lets it go out of bounds. Down to 13-25 in the game, 78-48. Eastern Kentucky has been 23 days without a win. Had to go to USC and West Virginia, Western Kentucky, Radford in a home game. They lost to Marshall, A.W. Hamilton's alma mater. Crookshank finds Brown, camping right, flat, three, good. Crookshank, another assist. That is his fifth of the night. Five assists by Moreno and four as well by Blanton. Full court pressure, 81-74 Eastern Kentucky. As Brown goes double figures now, at a three the other way, good by Evans. He has 23, and he has been their best player tonight. Lewis skip pass to the near side, Rob Pogo stick up to get it. Balligan working down outside the block left, back to Cooper for a good look at three as he drew two defenders at Eastern Kentucky, one three away from tying the school record. Rob has a four for four night going from three. 84-51 Eastern Kentucky. Underneath 12 and a half minutes. Here's Evans. Evans, pogo stick dribbling with a jab step and tried to throw it across court and threw it away. Intended target is Travis. Well, Midway's been mixing up their defense. They've shown this little one, two, to uh, about a three-quarter court trap, and then they've gone back into a 1-2-2 one, two, two zone. Right now, they've gone back man-to-man, though. Kirchhank looking for a screen, get it, from Balligan, pick and roll to him, deflected away, and then good hustle for Kirchhank to get it back. Step back to tie the school record, and there it is. The it's back to Alumni Coliseum in Richmond. 12 minutes left in the game. Eastern Kentucky leading 87-51. Scored 18 unanswered in the first 242 of the second half to blow this one out. They began 26-4 in the first five minutes, 14 seconds of the first half. So good starts out of the gate. Like a Usain Bolt sprinting effort here tonight for Eastern Kentucky. Sims to the baseline. The son of Alvin Sims played at the University of Louisville. Then in the CBA, the CBA Rookie of the year, and then overseas in six different nations. That one deflected away by Lewis and running out of room for turnover. Number 18 of the night was Travis. Ricardo Travis has struggled tonight. Yeah, Eastern's done a good job on him. They had excellent ball pressure on that defensive possession right there. Really set down and play hard. Eastern Kentucky's assisted on 22 of their 30 shots tonight. Jackson in. Looks like they're going to rest Williams and Beverly the entire second half. Northern Kentucky in here on Saturday. Lewis wing three. Couldn't get it to drop. Balligan hustles for the rebound, but not strong enough to get it away from Evans, who muscled it away from a good Euro around Crookshank, and zero and blue goes by zero and white, and Evans up to 25 to lead all scores. There's an alley-oop intended for Balligan. Wasn't even close. They were not on the same page. They weren't even in the same chapter there. Good drive to the right side, cut off by Lewis. Miller tried to find something. Now to Gardner, down the lane, and from 10 won't go. Jackson, the freshman from Lexington, the rebound. Got a break here. There's the alley-oop, and then a miss lay in by Balligan. Another cup miss for the Eastern Kentucky team, and here's a steal by Crookshank in transition. Crookshank to Lewis, over to Balligan. He'll... Yeah, I made that a point to go there when my wife and I went there a couple years ago and uh, did a tour of New England, and uh, that was my bucket list thing right there. I got in there. My wife had to run me out after about three hours. It was really interesting. If you're a basketball fanatic, you need to go to Springfield. College Basketball Hall of Fame there, Easter Kentucky, second half, shooting 57% at 8 of 11 on threes and half two. Began this game red hot as well. Here's Jackson with a steal. Another turnover. Jackson. Step back three for the school record. Missed it. He'll have to earn him from the foul line as he is knocked down on a closeout there by T.J. O'Connor out of Miami, Florida, who just came into the game, the sport management major. As you'll look at Jackson here finding the three with a step back. Uh, he stepped back, and O'Connor just came a little bit late and uh, ran into him, didn't let him come down after his shot. So you're still in the act of shooting until you land on the floor. 25 by Evans to lead all scores. He's for Midway. 
Most points scored in a game this year by a midway player was Evans with 45, and he has 25 here at halftime, here uh, at the 10-14 mark of the second half. Miller, their leading scorer of the year, is at 14 right now. And Jackson, it's the sixth time a colonel has been fouled shooting a three. And all five times before this, only two of three made. But Jackson stops that as he got all three. And it's 92-53 EKU. Colonel's eight points away with 10 minutes to go from the ninth plus 100 game and another tip away by Brown with quick hands. Jackson had it. We'll see if they're going to say it was tipped out of his hands or if we'll go back to Midway. Looks like it's going to go back to the Eagles in the inbounds from Gardner. Well, wherever the ball is, you'll find Jamaru Brown. He's so active defensively. Had six steals in the last game. EKU's turned over the Eagles 20 times. This is O'Connor. Up to their leading scorer in the year, Miller. At 14 tonight in a hand check foul on Jackson. A little bit more on Deshaun Jackson. Frederick Douglas High School. Good luck at him there. Averaged over 21 and 7.5 and rebounds in high school. As you see him digging defensively in a little hand check foul there. Four fouls on the Curtles, three on the Eagles. We go under 10 minutes. Down the lane goes Moore. Warney got the block. Crookshank, oh, nice. No look to Brown for the lay-in. Crookshank's had assist after assist tonight. He's had four steals had and six assists. Assist after He's assist right tonight. He was going when he got that ball. Brown's looking at all night. And a near steal at half court as the Curtles kind of trying to gobble up midway as they get tired here late with 9.39 to go. They lost by 50 the other night at Bellarmine on it was actually a Sunday afternoon game and they're down 94 53 here one two three four curdles and double figures Beverly with 12 his night done in the first half Williams 14 his night done they're trying to rest guys with back knee and ankle injuries 12 by Rob Brown just scored his 13th Crookshank sitting at nine Blanton and Moreno at eight, along with Balligan. All dunks for Balligan. There's a drive by Moore into the lane. Hit the bottom of the net. And Wardy clears up the rebound. Here comes Crookshank. Eyes up to Blanton. Blanton back to Jackson. Extra share. Brown, three. Good. New school record with that three by Brown. 21 threes made. 21 of 36. Gardner the other way. Scoops it through. Three curdles scores. And he drew the foul with 9.03 to go. Nice unselfish play down here by Jackson on the other end. Could have taken that three, made the extra pass to Brown in the corner. Jamaru's hit the basket pretty regular tonight from that three-point line. Now Jamaru Brown, four for seven from three. Crookshank, three of four. Rob, four for four. Williams, two for five. Moreno, two for four. Blanton, one for three. Beverly, four for four. Just Kurt Lewis has struggled tonight, one for five, and Blanton one for three. Basket good. And then the and one good as well by Gardner for his first three points of the night. Blanton from 10 got hacked on the arm. Actually, the wrist by Raekwon Evans. Yeah, he really did a good job going after the ball right there. But on the follow-through, just got contact with the wrist. You'll see it right here on the replay. Blanton unable to finish his shot. Before the contact. EKU 97-56 leader. You know what happened February 4th, 1952, Doug? Hmm. Does that have anything to do with the Korean War? No. <laughs> Has to do with century mark as the Curdles are two points away from it. As Blanton hits the foul shot. He has nine. Eight of them this half. And welcome to double figure land. Fourth Curdle to get there. For Tay Tay Blanton, Alamis, Dono, Ohio. 99-56. February 4th, 1952 against Tampa. EKU cracked the century mark for the first time. Good fly to the goal by Evans, and he just continues to add his point total, 27. Crookshank for 100 and plus, and he hit it. The Shark Crookshanks had a big game. 102-56 EKU, make it 102-58. School record 22 and a Ninth time they've been over 100 in A.W. Hamilton's coaching career of four years. That shot goes over the backboard as we document 102-58, Eastern Kentucky. 
Midway's not bashful about putting it up either, and, and that plays right into Eastern's hands because they love to play fast. Eastern Kentucky is 89-1 and one when they go over 100. It's going to be 90 wins and one loss after tonight. With eight minutes still to go, 102-58. Wardy backing down the defender. Nice turn by Wardy, and he scores. I've really been impressed the way Michael Wardy has joined this program and given him energy, Doug. Well, he's so athletic and just has a has springs Michael underneath him when he gets under that basket. Here's Jackson and Brown. <laughs> Almost got it away from Gardner. Somehow he comes out of there with it. Floats and fights. Peace of mind. It's world-class care even before you need it. Eastern Kentucky has cracked the 100 mark for the 91st time in school history. Leading 104-58, and they'll push their record when they break 100 to 90 and 1. Their only loss was that double overtime loss at Jacksonville State ways back. Not too long, it was in the Hamilton ear. 104-58 EKU. Two starters have not played this entire half, and Williams and Beverly, and here's Brown trying to cross over. Quick hand steal by Miller. That is turnover number 12 by EKU. They have forced 20 and one points off turnovers by 18 tonight. 29 to 11. And now over plus 600 in the four years Hamilton has guided Eastern Kentucky. That's a huge total. Wardy hawking a smaller Gardner who got loose down the lane. Missed the shot. Jackson and Wardy wrestled for the rebound against Alex Hooper. And it was last touched by the pair of Colonels with 6.57 to go. Well, the Colonels shooting 76.9% from the three line this second half. 20 on the shot clock as they reset. Hand back to the inbound man, Gardner. His shot, no. Rebound pulled down by Jackson. Throw over the defense to Wardy. Wardy has his shot rejected. Good jump there by 6'4", Raekwon Evans. For a team leading 15th block on the year to tonight. Oh, he's a nice looking player. I'm sure Midway's really tickled to have him. Midway 6 and 4 on the year. Inbounds to Wardy. Trapped under the goal, but uses his body to clear Evans away. And Wardy has six away as most is 11. As another NAIA team. Ohio Valley in a five second inbounds violation as Brown covered up Gardner and nobody came to help. Corey Gardner, the six-foot third-year sophomore out of Owensboro. EKU has it up to 48. 17 at halftime. Moreno back in. Moreno, his pass deflected. One-handed that one. Stolen by T.J. O'Connor. Nice give off. Flying to the goal. Layup good. Brown the foul. And 29 tonight by Raquan Evans. Well, he never stopped running there on the break. And and a good job by his teammate to find him cutting to the rim late trailing the play. He had 45 in that game against Greenville, the team that lets it fly, doesn't play much defense. <laughs> You've heard of Greenville out of Division Three school, NCAA out of Illinois. Murray scored like, what was it, 177 against them last year? Yeah, it's something ridiculous. <laughs> Southern Illinois scored 177. Murray scored 173. Well, this team right here scored a bunch as Jackson air balls the left court at three. They scored 157 this year over Greenville. Driving inside, drawing defense, so trying to flip it out. O'Connor stole a Moreno to Rob. Three good. Eastern Kentucky 23 of 39 now, and Rob has been perfect. He's five for five. Who in the world's going to be our Madison County EMA CSEP player of the game? A bunch to choose from. Poke away from behind by Brown. Brown scoops it out to Jackson. Bra Jackson to Moreno. He missed the layup. Wardy there for the follow. His tap no. Moreno almost pulled it away from the rebounder, Hofer, but couldn't. Now for court comes Miller. He's been quiet with just two this half. Rob another block. Jackson battling for it. Fighting for it. Sliding out of bounds with it. Safe, but out of bounds. Wait. They get a timeout.
Oh, Gardner being chased by Lewis, who's back in with Crookshank. Little hip flex there to try to defend away from Jackson, but standing out of bounds is Miller for their 24th turnovers. Eastern Kentucky really good at forcing turnovers coming in in turnover margin, plus 61 on the year, plus 497 in the four years Hamilton has been the head coach. Rob Jackson, Crookshank, Balligan. Now Rob down low to Balligan, working low post, burrowing his way in, drawing a foul, and he traveled first. Tariq Balligan has struggled in the low post this year a little bit. Is it weight? Is it balance? Good defense? What you know? What do you say, Coach? I think it's a combination of footwork and balance. He gets bumped right there, and as big as he is, if he gets a wide stance, that's not going to affect him very much. Lewis on ball defense with Miller. 29 points by Evans to lead all scores. 12 of 18 tonight. 3 of 4 from 3. Certainly showing he could be a Division I player. Crossover dribble. Miller tipped away by the quick hands of Lewis. Ball on court. It falls to O'Connor for an easy 2. So O'Connor the benefactor. 109-62 with 4.31 to go. As we told you, Eastern Kentucky over 100 for the second time this year. And the ninth time. In the 105 games, Hamilton has been the head coach of the Curtles, the former Wake Forest and Marshall player. Eastern Kentucky in school history has cracked the 120 mark nine times. They're 11 away, and the most they've ever scored was 145 against Brescia, another NAIA school, in December of 2018. don't think they're going to get there tonight with 422 to go. Hitting 23 of 39 from three. Shooting 58%. Oh, how about another one? Well, Crookshank has just been outstanding tonight. He's that, that was a two-pointer, by the way. Crookshank with 11. He's got a boatload of assists, six unofficially. Gardner straightaway three. Front rim, no. Rebound, Balligan. Eight rebounds by Moreno. Seven each by Rob and Blanton. Crookshank will be our Madison County EMA CSEP player of the game. Crookshank, no, looks it out to Lewis. Down low, nice spinning move by Balligan. That was a much better low post move, and he was emphatic and quick with it, and Balligan to double figures for the fifth time in his career. Yeah, he knew where the defense was. He located him and turned away from it and laid that ball right in. 51-point curtle lead, encroaching to four-court Evans. Threw a team head out to O'Connor Bam. Got the right flat. It is five tonight for T.J. O'Connor from Miami, Florida. 113-65, Eastern Kentucky, 310 to the finish stripe. Northern Kentucky in here Saturday night. St. Mary's of the Woods Saturday night in Midway. Maligan working his way in. Got hammered on the arm. No whistle. Shot no good. Went for the rebound and somehow stole it away. Tonight's Madison County EMA CSEP player of the game is Rashard Crookshank. Madison County EMA CSEP. And help you prepare for an emergency. Learn more by visiting MadisonCallyKY.com slash EMA. Madison County EMA CSEP is your partner in preparedness. Crookshank with a good line tonight. Five of seven from the field in 14 minutes. Now Jackson knifing to the goal. He missed from five on a run. Crookshank, by the way, six assists, four steals, just one turnover and one foul. He's rising defensively. Nothing there. Out to Hofer. Hofer missed the three. And a tap to Crookshank for the defensive rebound. EKU three three-pointers away from the A-Sun record. Make it two as Crookshank hit again. Crookshank's highest point total in his career, 15. And now Crookshank a new high with 17. What a game for Richard Crookshank. Five of six from three and six of eight from the field. And it's 116-65 Eastern Kentucky. Yeah, and he's also done a great job running the offense, being a floor general out there. The NCAA record for threes at a game is 28. Balligan challenges the run to the rim. No good. Isaiah Miller, who was ineligible the first semester, comes in. Local kid from Madison Central High School. Spin to the lane. Tough seven-footer. 
Graces the rim, no good. Rebound by Miller. Been a silent second half for him. 14 in the ball game. 29 by Evans to the foul line. It's Van Hook from 15, no good. Rebound by Balligan. 116-65 Eastern Kentucky. Balligan, top of the key, holding. Never taken a three. Off to Kirkshank. He's thinking about it again. Weaving his way back to Balligan. Take a three, big guy. Miss it. Rebound pulled down Jackson for a moment, but couldn't collect it. <laughs> Gave the big guy a three, and his first ever in college missed the other way. Evans over 30 at 31. The second highest game of the season. He had 45 against Rip and Run Greenville. 116 67 EKU. Now Crookshank, head of the key. Left side, Mitter. He'll try a three. He'll hit a three. Eastern Kentucky. 25 threes, one away from the A-Sun in their first year in the A-Sun. 73 years in the OVC, and they own that record when they had 23s last year. Underneath a minute, a new player in wearing 33. Cam Miller misses. Here come the Colonels. 119-67. What a night tonight. 25 of 42. Miller a three. Missed it. Rebound. Jackson tipped away. Got it back. Puts it in. At Eastern Kentucky, now over 120 for the tenth over time in school history. <laughs> Leading by 54. 121-67-35 to play, and it looks like Minner's three to tie the A-Sun record will be their last shot. After they play defense here, they can dribble it out. Good inside move. Hofer had a tip away, and it went off the legs of Lewis almost looked like he was going to walk, but apparently a curdle got a finger on the ball with 21.9 to go. Hofer will leave, and checking in for him will be Ridge Hall. There goes Lewis out of the ball game. EKU will move on the year to five and five. No, make it a six and six. Feet inside, tipped away by Jackson, sliding stop. Miller got it off to a teammate. It's Miller. Miller stepped back three, air balls it with, and a shot clock violation as well. You know, Crookshank's also done a good job. He's been guarding Miller a lot of this second half and kind of quieted him down a little.